You know, it's, it's, it's good to be here. You're like the concert monster. You know where everything's happening. I'm getting that t-shirt, man. That's awesome. <laughs> concert monster. Concert monster. Nice. There you go. Um, so I suppose the first news we should talk about is LaserFest, which has continued to have just issues with its booking, and, and, and no one's really been, been happy with the original location they had, and it's two non-consecutive days, which is weird. Oh. Well, now their Sunday headliner, Five Finger Death Punch, uh, had themselves a bit of a meltdown on stage. I believe it was in Texas about four days ago, five days ago. I remember. Oh, really? Is this something? This is something new. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, apparently there was. Uh, some and we're not really sure exactly what happened, but there was some arguments amongst the band. Were they death punching each other? They were walking off stage. Uh, the the lead singer was throwing some obscene gestures at the drummer, and there was some stuff that some name calling that happened. So the band left stage for about for about five minutes, and the lead singer tried to carry on a cappella, which is strange for a metal band. It's kind of hard to do. <laughs> yeah. No driving riff. Yeah. yeah. So then the band came back out. And they played for about another song, and then they all walked off stage and called it a night. Uh, and people from at the show were actually tweeting and saying that they'd just seen the band break up on stage because that's what it appeared to, to have happened. Uh, since then, the drummer and the lead singer have both hopped on their various Facebook pages to, to kind of say, no, we're not breaking up. Uh, there's rumor of them firing their whole road crew. So, oh wow, no one's really sure if they're going to be here wow. for sure on <laughs> Sunday, <laughs> nice. or if they do, what kind of a show they'll put on. Uh, there's been no do talk yet of them actually canceling the date, so we assume they'll be here. Right, but. Yeah, this laser fest continues to kind of be this comedy of errors this year. So, but it is this weekend. So, if you want to get down there and see what's all, see what it's all about, if nothing else, kind of you know, if you've got one of those folks who likes to watch wrecks, you know, who slow down on highways and stuff, mm -hmm. then could I was happen. say everyone yeah. loves a good car wreck. Exactly. So maybe so people fest are going to show up just to see what for you. happens. Yep, yeah. yep. So that's it's this Friday and Sunday. You can still get tickets online at laserfest.com. You can also go pick them up at, at you know at the day of at the show. So. Yeah. Feel free to go and see what that's all about. Boy, things come a long way since the Ankeny Airfield so many years ago. I tell you what, right? Yeah. We've, we've gone from you know thirty thousand people and and some big names to, well, all right. So, moving on. <laughs> uh, Smashing Pumpkins are coming to town. There you go. But in a different way. But in a different way. They're going to be at Hoyt Sherman Place, which is an interesting place to put Smashing Pumpkins. Right. And it's going to be an acoustic show. Huh. Um, Billy Corgan's done some, you know, a lot of things to kind of evolve Smashing Pumpkins over the year. He is, in fact, the only remaining founding member. Okay, thank you. I was wondering um, about that. Yeah, yep. So he's replaced the entire band over the course of the years. Uh, and he's been really, over the last five or five, six years, been looking to really get away from the kind of early, mid-90s catalog that mm -hmm. really made the band famous. Um, so in a lot of his most recent shows, they've been playing almost none of that old material, kind of focusing on some newer stuff that people may be less familiar with. Hmm. And so now, from, from what I've heard from this show, it's going to feature some of the you know, some of the more popular early 90s stuff, but in an acoustic fashion. So he's been looking for you know, new ways to kind of pr move the band around and kind of push some boundaries and kind of change your preconceptions of what Smashing Pumpkins are. Okay. Um, as to how successful that'll and be, And to say, we'll what's see. your gut reaction on that? Because I enjoyed Smashing Pumpkins back in the day, and I, it, it's exciting to hear they're going to come, but I'm like, mm, you know, I for me, know if I'd enjoy this or not. The, 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 my biggest re reservation for it is that as the years have gone by now, and I listen to Smashing Pumpkins more and more, I find that the one part of the F Smashing Pumpkins that I think is the weakest is Billy Corgan's voice. Hmm. Oh. Um, and so... When you when you're put, going with an acapella or with a, with an acoustic show where you're kind of relying more and more on that voice, it really puts the pressure on Billy Corgan to bring the heat every night. And I'm not sure if Billy's the guy you really, can really count on to do that. But we'll see. I mean, it's yeah. an interesting but idea. You, you have your core songs you have to play. That's what's going to bring the people in. They, they didn't come here to hear your new stuff. Exactly. Sorry, they, that's exactly. the reality of the situation. They want to hear tonight, tonight. They want to hear 1979. Right. They want to hear you know. So we'll, we'll see. It's like um, going to see Don McLean and he says he's not going to play American Pie. Exactly. And, and that you, happens. Pretty much, exactly. That's, that's, exactly that's what right. he said, and now nobody's going to his concert. Right. Yeah, yeah. So, but that's going to be June twentieth is, is the date of that show. Well, um, wish them well. Tickets are on sale now. You can get them at the at the box office over at, yeah. over at Hoyt Sherman. Forty eight fifty for those. A um, little bit of a high price point for this, but again, it's Billy. It's Billy's show. He can do what he wants, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, and then two local shows this weekend to talk about. 
One is uh, over at Gaslamp. We have a, a Portland band called Hopeless Jack and the Handsome Devil, which is a great name. I'm a sucker <laughs> for band names. <laughs> that is a great name. I'm a sucker for band names. Uh, that's going to be at Gaslamp. Uh, that's this Friday. They're going to be playing with a couple local bands, Crystal City and Milk Duck Tape, which is another really cool band name. Milk Duck Tape, okay. 9 p.m. for that show. $5 gets you in the door there. That should be a lot of fun. And then also Saturday over at Vaudeville Muse, talk about some great band names, metal bands. Y you can't get much better than this. <laughs> Dark Mirror has a CD release show. They're playing with Thorhammer, Savagery, and Plagued Insanity. Oh, yeah, those, are, uh, those are some good times. Those names. are some good times. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, that's going to be the early show this Saturday. So 5 p.m. gets you in there. Uh, the one bonus to an, er to an early show is that it's all ages. So all ages show, metal, five bucks gets you in. Take an extra six, seven bucks with you and buy the CD. Yeah. It's good times. Vaudeville Muse for some metal. So, so that's, that's all we got this weekend. I want to report to you that coming up very soon on this program, Lake of Fat Kids. Yes. They'll be back on Good the show. Times. I don't recall the exact date, but within the next couple weeks. Yeah, they have confirmed. They have confirmed. If they the don't bring t shirts for say, us, you, you I'm, taking them, I'm kicking them right out of the building. You tell them to get out of to Ray Gun and, and have Mike whip up five or six for you. So, yeah. Just so you have a couple. Mm -hmm. So yeah. you have it. And you, you mentioned Laser Fest, and we have the, the band that's going to be at Laser Fest on this program coming up next hour. Excellent. So we're looking at Girls Rock. You know that. I do. Good yeah, times. Ray Faring. Sure, it's for us. All right. So we're coming up in just a little bit. Good job, my friend. Thank you, sir. As always, for more information, how do people get all the details? Bandbombshell.com. we got new stuff every